A great song is something that you want to play again. It's something that when you wake up in the morning, you're singing. It's something that makes you smile, makes you happy, you know. And it's so, not the same song that I might want, you know. That's so, the joy of music, isn't yeah. it? First of all, a good, a good song will always find a home, right? And real talent will always find, like, a team, you know. And, and somehow, like, I was never the networker. I never went around, like, hey, I'm a music producer. Like, listen to my beats. I was never that dude. But people recognized what I did and were like, yo, that Rob guy is pretty cool. Did you have an idea what kind of producer you wanted to be? Or, or, or was it a series of continuous sort of discovery about what your tastes were? So I always used whatever success I had with one style of music to try and expand <laughs> my, uh, and I would say this to producers, don't try and get stuck in one genre because if you love music, which we all do, you should try and embrace all styles and it keeps you fresh as well. Try and go directly to the I'll artists. Yeah, make the, re the record company make, I mean, I, I try and have my relationship with the artist, and then the record company, if they get involved, fair enough. Yeah, but yeah. the record companies are sort of professional um, blockers. Yeah. You know, our whole approach was like, okay, what has he never really done before? You know, that's kind of my approach with any artist. I think you just got to have that, that knowledge of the artist and, and knowledge of a little bit of a few things, man. What will come off live? What does he sound great on? What, you know, what does he look the best singing? I mean, it's, it's, it's tough, man. What are, what are some common characteristics that separate a truly great artist from just a good artist? You have to have a voice and a lyrical sense that sort of speaks, that, that gets through to your generation, it gets through to the listener. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's about the sound of your voice and, and, and your lyrical point of view. To me, lyrics are kind of number one, you know, what your message is. Normally, your 10th album is your worst album. Mm -hmm. You know, so why is that? I think because if you're a doctor, you're a much better doctor 30 years into your career than you were when you started. Why in art is that not? And the reason I say that is complacency. I mean, we've all had a lot of failures up here too, you know, but the times that it works is when we have that artist that's an extension of us, man, where we go, God, man, I get this, man. I wish I could be this guy. You need more than just the talent. You know, you need the drive, you need the commitment. A lot of people always ask me, like, how do you break in and how do you start making money? You just gotta be good. Like, I've, like I said, I've never one time when I was coming up thought about, damn, how many tracks is it gonna take me to make for me to start making money? I didn't really care. I was like, I just wanna make another beat. I wanna do another track. I wanna find new sounds. I wanna get inspired by, you know, this type of record. I, like, I just, I just did as many tracks as possible and I was not, I didn't sound like anybody out and I still don't. I think you ultimately gotta to move to Los Angeles. I think living in Chicago is a very difficult town. Oh, I just moved yeah. two weeks ago. Good oh, man, all right, you did the right go. thing. Because I hung out in San Francisco for a long time. If I would have stayed up there, it would never would have happened for yeah. me. It happened when I moved to Los Angeles. And actually, somebody once said, more things happen by accident in Los Angeles than on purpose everywhere else. Yeah. And <laughs> it's true. true. The money is always the thing that comes second. You know, none of us started with the, ex with, with the, the feeling that we were going to make money. We did it because, you did it because you loved sitting in there doing your beats. I did it because I love just being in a studio because it's my fucking religion, you know? And everyone does it for a different reason, but no one really does it at the beginning for money. No one that's good does it for money. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, guys. Appreciate it.